could even get 400,000 views on a vlog video. Like, nobody actually cares about you. So, if you're anything like me, you just finished watching I'm J Station's new video just for some good old comedic entertainment. Because we all know it's one giant lie. So, at that first clip I just showed you, it is obvious that J Station literally doesn't even know the difference between a 4 and a 5 because uh, he said that Keemstar couldn't get over 400,000 views on a vlog and then he proceeds to put a picture in the video that obviously shows that he got considerably more than 400,000 views on a video. And last I heard, 500 something thousand views on a video is not irrelevant. That is a lot of views. That is more than a full stadium. That is a lot of money as well. And this dude is just pretending like it's nothing and that Keemstar is irrelevant, which we all know is not true. Way more people know about Keemstar than J Station, and that is guaranteed. And I'm completely aware that it probably just seems like I'm milking this content, and well, that is because you're completely right. YouTube has been pretty boring lately, and I'm almost thankful that J Station gave us some drama. Almost, not quite almost. So one of the topics that I'll be covering in this video is actually another YouTuber boxing match that will involve J Station and someone else but I'll mention that later in the video. Then I'm going to be talking about how J Station blamed Keemstar for the passing of some celebrities and also I'll be covering why you're seeing the hashtag stop J Station thing everywhere and then lastly I'm going to talk about his new girlfriend and the video he created about that. So the winner of my last shout out was Let's Gameplay, congratulations my dude, if you guys would like to win a shout out like him, make sure you guys find this icon somewhere throughout the video and comment the exact time it pops up next time, not this one, and you will win a shout out, as long as you're first and you don't edit your comment. So anyways, let's uh, talk about this lovely drama. So first, I would like to address why you're seeing the hashtag stop J Station thing. So basically, Keemstar just got sick and tired of J Station, and he decided to make a video where he basically just kind of exposed what was going on, and um, J Station did not like that. So Keemstar basically made a dedicated video talking about how I'm J Station just needs to be taken off the platform, and that is what the hashtag stop J Station is. It's basically because he's done a lot of awful things. He's faked the death of his girlfriend. He's also used that to gain money. He's also abusing his girlfriend. And there's a lot going on. And all of this isn't confirmed exactly. This is all on YouTube, so I can't really say what is true and what's not. But I will say it seems to be the case. So anyways, this hashtag basically went trending on Twitter, and so JStation kind of saw that this was actually affecting him, and so he made a video addressing Keemstar. So now he has the drama between his girlfriend, and that's starting to die down, and now he has this drama with Keemstar, and it's just starting to seem like he almost got his way here. Like, he's getting a lot of clout from all of the stuff that he did that was absolutely in the wrong. So honestly, I don't even know if there should be a boxing match involving JStation just because I don't think any more people need to be introduced to him. But also at the same time, I mean, who doesn't want to see him get knocked out? So it's like, I have mixed feelings. In JStation's last video, he actually called out Keemstar to a boxing match. He claimed that they're both the most hated YouTubers on the platform, so why not have a fight? Because apparently the world would love to see that, and I think that's true. But Keemstar didn't accept the fight, or he didn't see it, I'm not really too sure, but this dude named Kavos, or Kavos, I, I've never really known how to pronounce his name, he's gonna be fighting J Station for us, and he claims he's gonna knock him out, so I think that may be pretty entertaining. So basically, J Station said that if he beats Kavos, and I'm just gonna go with that pronunciation right now, that he wants to fight Keemstar. And um, obviously, I don't know if all of this is gonna happen. Since he is an obvious liar on the platform, then it's kinda hard to trust if he's actually gonna go through with this fight. But hey, it's probably in his best interest, honestly, because it might help restore his brand, kinda like how Logan Paul went into a boxing match to help restore his brand. And that's also why I kinda don't like this idea, because I don't want him to restore his brand. Like, I'm pretty sick and tired of his lies. 
So in Jay Station's video, he also blamed Keemstar for the mental health of basically every YouTuber who's gone off the wall. He basically mentioned that he was the reason FooseyTube had a mental breakdown, which um, I don't think that's true. I think these YouTubers are being reported because they already have mental issues. It's not that Keemstar gave him these problems, it just so happens that he records videos on a lot of people with mental problems because those are the people who have news to report about. And then Jay Station actually said that Keemstar was the reason that Etika is no longer with us, and I think that is pretty incorrect. I obviously I don't want to say why Etika chose to do what he did, but uh, I don't think Keemstar was the reason. All right, so the last topic I wanted to cover was this video about his new girlfriend that he supposedly bought off the dark web. So a little backstory here: Alexia claimed that she was abused by Jay Station, and it seems to be true. A lot of people pretty much agree with her, and so Jay Station reenacted a video of something that Alexia claimed he did to her. So his last video was really just made to upset Alexia and kind of just make her feel dumb. It's just kind of weird that he would do something like this. He never obviously announced it, but once you connected the dots, it was really weird. He literally just copied the scene word for word with something Alexia said that Jay Station did to her. Now I don't know if that made any sense to you, but hopefully you've seen the videos that I've seen that Alexia has made and this made some sense. So anyways, if you enjoyed any part of this video, make sure you guys drop a like down below and I hope you guys found that emoji for the shout out and if you won, congratulations. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video.